Hey everyone, this is Lucy and six months ago I quit my job at AWS where I was working as a solutions architect. Many of you might have seen this video where I shared my thought process and reasoning behind why I decided to leave, but long story short, it was to give this whole full-time YouTuber thing a go. And wow, a lot has happened over the past six months, both with the tech industry as a whole and my journey of being self-employed. I've gotten so many questions asking me, Lucy, what is it actually like being a full-time YouTuber? Would you recommend it? Are you making enough money? And do you see yourself doing this forever? In this video, I'm going to be answering all of those questions and provide an update on how things are going. So whether you're someone looking to also quit your job and pursue your passion, or you're just curious to hear what it's like working on YouTube full time, then you've come to the right place. To make sure I cover everything, I'm going to break this video up into five parts. First, I'll provide a quick recap of the real reasons why I decided to quit my job. Next, I'll explain the changes I had to make in my mindset and daily routine since being self-employed. After that, I'll talk about some of my achievements and progress, as well as what advice I have for those who are considering a similar path. And finally, I'll share what my plans are for the next six months and beyond. I know we have a lot to cover today, so let's jump straight into it. I started making YouTube videos around two and a half years ago. At the time, I barely knew how to use a proper camera. And to be honest, I was quite terrified of uploading videos. But thankfully, I convinced myself to just give it a go. Because back in university, I've always enjoyed teaching others and mentoring. And YouTube just seemed like the perfect place to do it on. After making about 10 videos, it became pretty clear to me that there was a demand for the type of content I was creating, which at the time were videos about my experience working at AWS. I started getting so many comments and messages from viewers who really got value out of the content I was sharing, and that gave me the motivation I needed to continue. However, in my first year of creating YouTube videos, I made zero dollars from it, and so I had no idea I could turn it into a full-time career. But as with the experience of many other YouTubers, I slowly learned how to monetize my channel through ads, sponsorships, and paid products. And then by the end of the second year, my YouTube income started to exceed the amount I was earning at AWS. Now, at that point, I was like, okay, Lucy, if you don't take the risk and do YouTube full time, you might end up regretting it because, you know, the channel's growing, you get to do what you love, and you're making videos that are really helping people. My main hesitation at the time, though, was that I really enjoyed working at AWS. I had an amazing support network, and there are still times I look back and miss those days. But, you know, that's life, and sometimes we have to close off one career path to pursue another. Since leaving my job, I've had to really shift the way I think about work. I have to constantly remind myself that I'm no longer an employee with a fixed salary, but someone with my own business and brand that I'm responsible for. It's kind of scary sometimes because even though being self-employed does give you the freedom and flexibility, it also means that you have to be very self-disciplined in order to stay on track. And so even though I don't have a 9-to-5 job now, I still try to stick to 9-to-5 work hours and take regular breaks because if I don't, I end up just overworking or not getting any work done. I'm still trying to figure out the perfect routine and schedule, but in a typical week, I would have blocks of time dedicated to script writing, video recording, and editing. That's pretty much 90% of what I need to do to keep the YouTube business up and running. But I also spend time these days working on new business ideas and building my technical skills. Another mindset shift for me was making sure I take the initiative to meet others who are on the same journey of creating content or building their own business. Being self-employed can get pretty lonely at times, and so chatting with others to understand the struggles and challenges of running a business has been very helpful in keeping me motivated. Okay, now I'd like to share some of what I achieved over the past six months and my progress on the things I've been working on. One of the most visible achievements is channel growth. When I quit my job, I remember having around 40,000 subscribers and now at the time we're recording this video, we're getting close to 100,000 subscribers. So thank you all so much everyone for showing your support by watching the videos and subscribing to the channel. Aside from channel growth, I've also been able to collaborate with some amazing companies and those partnerships have allowed me to continue providing free videos and resources for our community. Companies like Udemy I've been recommending since the start of my YouTube journey, so it's great that they've reached out to support the channel. There's a whole bunch of other stuff that happened over the past six months. For example, I flew to the US for the first time, which was really fun. I moved to a new apartment where I set up a dedicated recording space, and I've been invited to become a LinkedIn learning instructor for an AWS course. At the time of recording this video, I'm also trying to create an email newsletter, so hopefully in the next few weeks, it will be ready to launch. On the money side of things, my income from my YouTube business is at around double of what I was making at AWS. And this is mostly made up of YouTube ad revenue, sponsorships, affiliates, and one-on-one -on -one career consultations. To be honest, it still blows my mind that it's even possible to make money through YouTube, but I'm very grateful to do what I love without having to worry about paying the bills. 
Before we continue, I'd like to take a moment to tell you about today's video sponsor, NordVPN. As a full-time content creator, I find myself sometimes having to protect my internet connection and privacy online. NordVPN is an easy-to-use VPN service that enables you to access content from all over the world, whilst keeping your data and applications safe. Whether you want to hide your IP address or access content only offered in certain countries, NordVPN allows you to open up a map, click on a location, and get connected in seconds. They now offer threat protection, which is a major upgrade that blocks intrusive ads and web trackers. So if you download a file, it would inspect for malware. It also automatically scans URLs and blocks malicious ones. If you're looking for a VPN service, you can head to nordvpn.com forward slash lucytech to get a two year plan plus four additional free months. They have a 30 day money back guarantee so you can try risk free. If this video has inspired you to start your own YouTube channel or side hustle, my advice will be to just go for it. When I first started, I had so many fears around what other people would think or what if all of this fails. But for me, the potential regret of not giving it a go was much scarier. I mean, especially if you're someone working in tech. With all the tech layoffs happening at the moment, having an additional source of income through a side hustle can really provide more financial security and independence. My recommendation is to find something that lies in the intersection between what you're interested in, what you're good at, and what the world needs. And then once you start building and creating, try not to expect money to come in straight away. Focus on providing value to your target audience and the rest will come after that. For example, if you have an interest in personal finance and you're the go-to person in your friend circle for any money tips, you could start a finance channel. Or if you enjoy creating tech tutorials and how-to videos, you could start a tech-focused YouTube channel like I did. The key is to find something that you enjoy doing and that you're passionate about because I think that's the only way to sustain something in the long run. I'm thinking of creating a second channel where I share more of the behind the scenes of what it's like doing YouTube full time. So if that's something that you might be interested in, please let me know in the comments. To wrap up, here are some goals I have for the next six months. The first one is to scale my business beyond YouTube. I think being all in on a platform can be quite risky. So my goal is to diversify my content across platforms like LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. Another goal I have is to continue learning and building my technical skills, because as we all know, things change so fast in the tech space. And finally, because I know none of this will be possible without all of your support, my third goal is to give back to the community by doing more giveaways. Sometimes people ask me if I see myself doing this forever. The answer is probably not, but what I know for certain is that I'll actively be trying to work for myself and only work for someone else as a backup plan. I actually got a job offer from Google recently, which I ended up turning down, but that's a story for another day. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed this little life update and let me know your thoughts in the comments below.